Hello and welcome to Supreme Commander Forge Alliance Forever. Torn forgot the build for Badlands. I don't believe him at all. Never trust someone who tells you they forgot the build. They're just trying to put you off. And Torn loves Badlands, so there's no chance. Now this game is uh, the second game from a best of three series. We saw the first game in the last video that was on Forbidden Pass we're now in Badlands and the tournament is the Masters Cup which happened a little while ago which had a nice prize pool, I didn't tell you what the prize pool is after saying it was large and it was uh, I think five hundred and fifty dollars or maybe five twenty five dollars total three hundred for first place hundred and fifty for second, 75 for third place. This was maybe quarterfinals of the winner's bracket. If my memory serves me well. Fails me sometimes. So, Torn doing the normal build. You build factory, two P gens, four mexes, two P gens, another factory with the ACU. It doesn't move. You don't need to move to build the mexes. And engineers go quickly to build a hydra and also click on a lot of these rocks. 10 mass each in these rocks. And also all the trees here, or most of the trees here, are actually grouped as well. So, want to take those. We have a lab out. And we have a very quick tank from Nexus, who is a player down here. And he is the Seraphim, so Seraphim versus Aeon. Next is going aggressive early on. You can see that's a very early tank. That's like second or third tank, which is quite unusual. But he has no labs at his disposal, so doesn't really have a choice if he wants to actually be aggressive very early. He can't. Uh, I mean, he could go for Celines, but they're not very good at killing things, so they can only shoot forward. People ask me to change that, but I mean, just wouldn't be a Celine, would it? If it could shoot in all directions. I mean, look at the look at the gun it has. It doesn't look like a very mobile gun. This tank has two kills already. Uh, they are both scouts, though. Now it reaches the real targets, the engineers, and it reaches them before the ACU is here to defend them. He's going to get this one. Nice. Takes one shot from the ACU, and there's another engineer in the area. Celine goes down. This lab is doing damage, but it cannot kill the tank, and that's another engineer dead. So this tank already, very nice, and he has four kills. He's got now a range of the ACU again. Five kills. The lab goes down. That's a vet level. Some regen. Little bit extra HP. And he lives to tell the tale. Hero Tham there. That shows you... Well, that's just a nice idea from, from Nexus. He would not generally go for such an early tank. It was very early. It's probably I still don't know if it's second or third tank, but very nice from him. And this lab, however, getting some damage back. There's one tank one engineer down. Another one may go down. There he goes. And the lab should probably get killed by the tank before he gets another kill. Yes. And yet another lab and this tank is not in place to defend, we need a quick reaction. But these labs are very quiet in their shots, so it's actually, you know, when you hear a mech marine, you can immediately react because it's just this little chain gun sound that's pretty noticeable. But a lot of Aeon weapons are very quiet, so it can actually delay the reaction because that, those, uh, those shots do not, uh, they don't ring out. And I'm one of those players that relies a lot on sound. I don't play with music on, generally. The sound is quite important. You know, when you hear, a, say, a Seraphim strap bomber, you immediately know that uh, you fucked up because you don't have any air yet. Or T3 air. <laughs> it's quite a scary sound when you, uh, you're not ready for it. This engineer is under threat from the hero tank, which is now regen to over 100 HP. 
did a big loop around and it wasn't followed. N Torn didn't send anything after it. Now if you look at expansion, Torn is already at its furthest expansion with the ACU very quickly moving across and N Nexus not so quick to move across. But it looks like he may have expanded here a little faster. And another engineer goes down to this tank. This tam is absolutely devastating. 200 mass killed now. Oh, another raid. Damn, Nexus is getting mauled by these raids. And look at this. Our Torin is getting mauled by Nexus raids. Uh, no... No vision whatsoever, no radars. There's only two land scouts in this whole place and they're right next to each other. And that is a, that's just a gigantic problem for an Aeon player. How can you... You just can't use an Aurora without radar. Simply. Cannot use them. And now we have several tanks moving in to this expansion. These tanks... Thams here got cleaned up, but uh, another mech goes down, and now the Thams getting into range. They need to just continue pushing on, and they'll finish off these Aurora, and they do. No, don't run away. No. Oh, he dodges the last shot that would have killed him, and now he's shooting the Thams from out of range. That is unfortunate from Nexus. Miss Micro there. I think it's the kind of situation where you're not fully paying attention. He's probably zoomed out, and doesn't have uh, of course vision there doesn't have a Celine with them either so ends up mismicring slightly oh Torin sending his air and that's uh, could be dangerous but he gets away we have six inties from Nexus looks like less for Torrent yep and very little air actually very not many tanks right now we have we have 30 and he's trying to yeah, it's so cancer. I don't know what he's talking about. Maybe it's lag or maybe it's just these annoying raids from Nexus. Uh, Thams are the second fastest T1 tank behind the Mantis, of course. And uh, Striker's a bit slower again. And then we have the slowly Aurora. And this is a bad way to Aurora. Just, just pointless. Uh, and we're already going T2. Nexus, of course, going to go quickly to T2. On T1 stage against Aurora, obviously it's going to be a bit tricky. If uh, your opponent micros well, but Torn is getting caught out here a lot. He's moving. I think for one, with Aurora, you really want to get a solid group together. If you keep losing them in small groups, they're not not as good it's like with any any unit that depends on its range having one or two of them is not that useful having small numbers is not that useful because they can't then one shot tanks that are coming into range you have to really be able to kill the tanks that are at the front very quickly so you need a decent group of aurora together and then they become very powerful when you have five aurora together it's not that scary and they can be quickly overrun if there's just one or two tank advantage then uh, and here we're uh, I don't know if he can really push here but no Zooey's from from Nexus at the minute so PD's will hold him back on the right side of course there's an ACU so not much chance there ACU getting a few kills always good to get the kills when you can on the ACU and now Torn has pretty nice radar, so he sees the reaction, and now he's going to retreat with his Aurora. And get some kills on the way out, of course. Look at that. Lovely stuff. And he already has T2 land himself. He has some mechs upgraded. He has lost both plateaus, however. And that could be painful later on. Right now, it's painful enough just to lose mechs. Later on, now we can see, again, a bit of, a, just a waste. You can't raid with Aurora like this. It's just not possible. It's just uh, bad. It's just bad. So we're seeing a few wasted units. 
unfortunately for Torrent, needs to be a bit more careful. That's, uh, I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> I don't know, I don't even know what that's, those symbols, what alphabet those symbols are from. So now we have Nexus. Chilling, so games on maps like this are quite static and it's really about having a plan, one, having a plan, so Nexus has his plan, that is, he wants to get to T2 land and then we're going to see some support factories coming up, here's one, here's one, here's another, so his plan is basically just maintain the map position, go to T2 and make some chickens and stuff, and then well, Nexus plays quite reactionary. Plays with economy and allows his t his uh, opponent to try something if he wants. And if not, Nexus can just keep playing later into the game and uh, keep playing on eco. But Torn is trying some stuff, as he does. Oh, and look at this. He's gone for a T3 rush. Doesn't want to play against Ilshavo with Obsidians. And he's left himself completely open. The ACU is right here and a m huge number of tanks have just gotten past. Now I'm not sure, maybe he was stalling power and so didn't have radar coverage over this area. But this is awful for him. Factory, four mexes go down, completely raided. He never even built the hydrocarbon. And his back is open to be raided now as well and just when he's getting harbs out oh stay away from the ACU do not want to get overcharged and we have two sniper bots we have two harbs so now the harbs instead of having some initiative maybe being able to drop one very fast or something which may, which may or may not be good in this scenario but uh, he can't he doesn't even have the option he has to use it to defend and the ACU is going to have to re-expand. See the walls were not completed and so a lot of tanks got passed and obviously that is the ideal time to get some damage in. Nexus saw the factory go to T3 and then saw an opening. He realizes he Torin is really lacking units and so that is the time to attack but Nexus is getting sniped. He bought the gun Put it on his arm and uh, now he has to leave. Didn't get to kill very much with that. And he's just completely forced back by snipers. But now there's T1 land coming after the sniper bots. These things are so squishy. 500 HP. Two Seraphim bombers land on that and they're dead. And they cost 720 mass each. He's trying to run away. He needs to... Needs to get away. He doesn't... No. Oh no. That is the most disgusting waste of snipers. He just lost snipers to some thams. Now, I mean, all the thams are going to be suicided now, but, I mean, that's just no compensation. He's not even killing all the thams. He's letting them get away. Bit of a fail there from Torrent. Feels bad. And Nexus, you can see the reaction to T3 land. First was to attack take advantage of the timing and then immediately go t3 land himself you don't want to make a lot of ilshis you can see he's paused his support factories so he can use the support factories he can make some more ilshis he can make flax and eventually add another t3 support factory to the mix and he's also going to be making zooies i hope needs to instead of making thams go to the zooies can see he did invest in quite a few t2 support factories so he's not going to be too happy about that because now he has to pause them so they're not really useful that build power was uh not uh, invested in the best way thanks to torrent's decision to go for a t3 rush but then torrent just suicided an army here into a couple of Autumns and some uh, Ilshis. We lost a Harb and some Aurora. That's a nasty mass dump now. And uh, Nexus just looking pretty solid at the minute. Now his problem is he's been making 
uh, autumns for less time. He has four. Just four. I'm sure Torin has more than that. If we take a look here, he has nine. So that is quite a significant difference. He also has 3,000 mass in the bank. So he can perhaps add another support factory. And we see two support factories are planned. And probably more mexes are on the way. Yes. But we don't have any T2 air, we don't have any, even a T1 transport. See, the, this is one of the reasons the uh, the plateaus are important. As the game goes on, you can see he can just have radar up here, as he does, and he will spot any drop. There's no gap. Now, if you actually hold one of the plateaus, you can use that to drop past your opponent. And uh, it's easier to get drops past, but uh, Nexus... Should be quite safe. He doesn't have many inties though, actually. So even actually, tra actually shooting down transports may be difficult. Now that I look at it, because he has so few interceptors. Idle air factory. I have a T1 transport and a T2 engineer. So maybe he'll be dropping somewhere. He could make some TML up on the cliff or something. You can see if he gets to if he made a TML here, he could get past the A on TMD, which has a much shorter range, of course. Now Nexus has far superior mass income now, as we would expect Nexus to have. He is addicted to Mexus unapologetically. Two T3 support factories coming up. Now, will he be able to support them is the question. He is adding storages now to his mexes. He's a couple more mexes on the way, and uh, I think he will be able to support those once he gets his eco up. Once those mexes are finished. And we have a couple snipers. Still only... Oh, uh, we have one of the autumns is on a T1 transport. Nice move here. And Torrent caught up now. A lot of his mexes have upgraded. Still has almost 3,000 mass in the bank. So definitely should maybe assist his, his T3 support factory. Getting another P gen up. He does need that. That is for sure. And he has a TML. In the middle. You can, look at this. He can hit every forward. Every, every base on the front of the map for Nexus. Only the back mexes are safe from this TML's range. And there's no TMD, no TMD in the base. So that's one of the uh, one of the things I re-enabled. You can see you can go up here to the radar and stuff. This is uh, all the overlays, and I added countermeasure, which is TMD and SMD, so that I always know if I have TMD or not. Now Nexus has no TMD as we can see there's no orange radar uh, orange uh, rings simultaneous drops actually we had two drops of autumns one on either side at the same time so the odds of catching both of them are very slim and actually both of them got through easily and Torn is going to lose a lot of mass income all at the same time I mean say losing six mexes over here is obviously nasty oh no t2 mex is going down they're completely unprotected to the tml so losing a few here is bad losing a few here is bad losing them both at the exact same time can be very bad but torn is just holding onto mass in his bank so he actually can uh live through this a little bit and keep producing units and keep building missiles and nexus has started t3 air he n oh man he needs to stop this brutal tmling here's the tmd we need a tmd in front of the base where is it i don't even see one queued up oh boy <laughs> no, that's... Oh, no, it's not going to get through here. I think. No, it might, actually. It does. Oh. It's too close to the edge. It only gets one shot. TML requires two shots from a TMD to come out of the sky. 
the harp finally catches this autumn after it killed eight t1 mexes oh no 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 seven and one t2 mex very nasty here's another tml but there is tmd in this area finally this this tmd is in a terrible place as we saw this tmd this uh max got tml'd and all the time we've had a large force building up a very large force and now torrent sees the t3 air is coming i'm sure he's he's looking at that with that scout overhead he should be well aware there's a t3 p gen so you should expect t3 air and he can see the bar upgrading here and if you look you can sort of see both structures are there simultaneously on top of each other so you can actually see uh hover over the structure that's building and on the right side we have it looks like well this tank is still alive this is the one that was dropped still killing Mex is over here now there's a harb in the area and it looks like he, Nexus wants to try and do a bit of a drive-by. There's no units on the right side. There's units up the middle. And most of the units are here. On the left side, Torn is going for a serious push. And Nexus needs to use this ACU. He has Nano. And he's getting snipered. Now, oh, we need some kiting here, guys. Just get away from the Thams. The Thams are getting into range of the sniper bots. Which are going to go down. There's no shields here. And T1 bombers are going to kill them so quickly. But it, but Nexus has very few Othams. Now he has killed so many of the snipers. Which is extremely valuable. Oh my god. Three snipers die to one bomb. Now there's still so many. So many harbs. And more snipers coming in. But again no asylums to protect them. The sheer number of harbors is really worrying for Nexus. He is in trouble here. Now building defenses. And until he gets rid of the snipers, he can't feel safe with this ACU. On the other side, the right side is completely killed. And now there's literally no defenses whatsoever. No PD. There's nothing. And these two Othams and the chickens can kill all so many t2 maxes and storages as well and there's a huge amount of mass left oh just a dodge there dodging the bombers oh they don't dodge the next ones and again look at that two bombs and the sniper bots are dead and now we have sniper bots from nexus and we have a late push in even deeper into the base and of course the production is here and more units have come out there's bombers the acu is still here and there's not enough snipers shooting at him to take him out it seems and the bombers will be turned on the snipers very shortly and the harps have run out more or less now we could we should see some harps run to the back there's a lot of eco at the back here six six storage t2 maxes this one wasn't storage but he's gonna kill more the, like he can come over here he can definitely take out these two maxes the acu is t1 it has no upgrades does not feel safe fighting against T3 land in any way and he just can't do anything he's in a very strange spot what is this game we have TML firing oh yes the TMD died and Harbs are finally moving to the back we have snipers raiding <laughs> snipers <laughs> raiding and here again the two two more net mexes go down very slow re-expansion very this is a messy game more tml's flying how much mass has this killed 3500 it has 13 kills all those 13 kills are either mexes or mexes and mass storage so much economy for Nexus is going down. There's no TMD in front of this base still. And look, the scouts are flying overhead. He's looking for it and he sees it. Another T2 Max goes down. 
What the fuck says Nexus? Where's my TMD? Yeah, well, I don't know, dude. I don't even see the decal from where it would be built, actually. So, <laughs> I don't. Did you ever build the TMD? See, there's a little decal under the building. Which remains afterwards, and I don't see any decal. <laughs> I think he must have forgot that. And what? Like, oh my god. Nine, okay, we have nine snipers, we have 14 harbs. Snipers are nice, but without asylums, they just die to T1 bombers, and that's that's that. He needs to suck up his dead mexes so that he can actually continue producing units. That is the main thing right now. Get back his mass points, and he turned his ahead on score now. And look, oh, a harb coming into the back of the base. TMD finally goes up. Another mechs is going to go down. We have T3 Air is out, but he's just making just making gunships right now. Gonna force Torn to make flax. There's another T2 Max to be killed by this uh Oh my god, 6100 mass killed. He needs to stop stalling so he can keep TMLing shit because oh yeah, there goes another 6500 Actually, uh, this is, um, because Mexes don't shoot back, that's actually half of the mass value. So he's killed more like 13k worth of mass in, in mass extractors. So the mass value gained for veterancy by killing units that uh, by killing buildings that don't shoot back basically is reduced so that you can't just vet hugely on uh, on mexes especially and other units like SMD and things expensive buildings and now we have Zui's raiding again nothing to stop them and we have ASF now and gunships for nexus the game has simmered down, but look at this. Let's just see how much mass was dumped on Nexus' doorstep. We have 20k here. Some of it's already gone. This is this is a huge problem. I mean, the damage is absurd. So all these mechs at the back were T2, and they're all dead. All these mechs are dead. Mechs in the base have died. Mechs in every location have died for Nexus. I don't think. I think maybe these ones haven't died, and maybe like two of these. That's that's the only mechs he ha he's not having to replace. Torn on the other hand is just not interested in replacing his mechs. <laughs> he's just I mean it's so slow to re-expand it's unbelievable. But now he has big problems to worry about with T3 air. So we need some I think mobile mobile uh, T3 AA a Sam here. Yeah, we do have a Sam in the base. If you have one Sam here, one Sam here, then you can feel a little better about yourself. But still drops. Drops from the side could be dangerous. Torn is pushing in now and attacking. He has he has a, a nice T2 radar here that Nexus would do well to take out. That would really destroy any vision that that Torn has and now he's getting to the edge of the radar range he needs to turn around because he's walking into units and s oh this is a, this could be another suicide of, of uh, Manny Harbs here see a lot of Zooey shots landing a lot of artillery shots landing snipers going down quickly Torrin has 40 more mass income now But this reclaim field is now growing thanks to this attack. And there is there are many, many Othams here building up now. And I think that was a really awful attack by Torin. Really awful attack, I'm sorry. That completely failed. We have a T3 mechs from Torin. Which is an affront to Nexus. How 
is Torn getting a T3 Max before Nexus is. That cannot be allowed. But look, we see the serious problem here. There's so many Othams backed up by Zooey's. Even the odd sniper in there, which is nice too. And Zooey's, of course, the Seraphim unit that can be used in any composition. <laughs> Use them with Navy. Use them at T1 land stage, T2 land stage, T3 land stage. What a glorious unit. And this looks like a pretty glorious drop. He could fit a few more units on, thanks to the amazing T2 Seraphim transport. Could definitely fit some more units on there. Maybe just add more Zooey's, I think. Would be the most effective way. Oh my god, the Zooey's at the back. Look at this. Just raiding e the back base with Zooey's. It's, is that dead T2 Max now? He missed this one. It's just T1, though. More TML's flying. No, the TMD is dead. Where'd the TMD go? What killed it? Oh... Nexus loses his T3 HQ at minute 28 to a single tactical missile launcher which now has killed so much it says 19.5k mass I think that actually might be the that is actually how much mass it's killed not the not the vet points <laughs> you give me the worst cancer he even gives him spelling cancer as we can see, oh my god, this TML, 20,000 mass killed, so many mexes, killed killed a T3 land HQ at 29 minutes, just one TML. Now, th now that drop lands on the left, but quickly reacted to, but look at this, this is going to be quite bad. Single harb at the front, and both Othams attacking. More drops on the right side now. And the range gun coming up for Torin and speed gun. He's going to try and overcharge these. Also has PD. There's a lack of TMD for Torin now, I have to say. We take a look. There's That's uh, not very comprehensive coverage. And there's a big army coming towards his base now. As well as the drops that are landing in various places. And Torn has very few units now. Did he make another T3 Max or, or what? Doesn't look like it. But he did make a lot of T2 Maxes here. That's a... Look at that. He's just dropping into... There's... Nothing Torn can do about it. He has no air whatsoever. And now there's... So many Autumns coming in. Along... Oh no! No! Oh my god. He just killed the entire army just clamoring around his T3P gen that's under fire and Torin gives in that was oh oh this was dumbest game actually yes Nexus said those infamous words in the last game the previous game in this series he said that was the dumbest game I've ever played or something along those lines how wrong how wrong he was this game was something very special <laughs> fun one but holy crap and what a way to end it your entire army is surrounding this T3 P gen oh, it's under fire it goes up kills your entire army and uh, just a great way to end the game. Perfect ending. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we will catch the final game of this best of three very soon. It's 1-1. One, one between these two guys. Ne uh, Torrent. One forbidden pass. And Nexus forgot to rebuild his mechs. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. He did get two T3 mechs up by the end, though. And that's really all that matters. In the end, he had one more T3 Max than Torn, and that is why he won, of course.
GG, well played, hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you very soon for the next video.